Hello and welcome to an interview about the artworks of Hong Tae Kim. My name is Quan Park. I will be your host for this interview. First, let me begin by introducing you to Dr. Kwang Myung Kim. He's a renowned art philosopher and art critic, professor of aesthetics at Sung Shil University, and the author of many articles and publications on philosophy and aesthetics. Welcome, Dr. Kim. Next, I'd like to introduce you to artist Hong Tae Kim. He is a Korean artist whose unique style of painting explores primitiveness and the child's mind. His style transcends culture specifics and allows the exploration of freedom and contemplative meditation for anyone who views his work. He's had nine solo exhibitions and 280 group exhibitions, both domestic and abroad. He received the Grand Prix at the International Art Competition at Saint Blanc in Tokyo and was invited by the James Gray Gallery at Santa Monica, California for a solo exhibition. Welcome, Mr. Hong Tae Kim. Let me begin with you uh, to give a fuller description of your artwork. I have been drawing a unique style of painting since I graduated from graduate school of Hong Kong University. My work subject is primitiveness and the child's mind is a product of a scratch sketch made in a spontaneous and uncontrolled method. So it is with the shape breakaway, image breakaway, and non artificiality. But in my artwork, you find meditation, symbols, vitality, and yin and yang. My artwork's philosophy is natural in action through Lao Tzu's Taoism. I remember in 1971, when Picasso was uh, nine years old, he was invited to a solo exhibition by a famous gallery in Paris. Picasso said, I created with all my might, but I finally realized that it is not about wealth and honor. Rather, it is about uh, returning to primitiveness and child's mind. My work subject is also primitiveness and the child's mind. Thank you. Dr. Kim, thank you so much for being here. What are some of your thoughts and critiques uh, about Mr. Hong Tae Kim's artwork? Uh, so uh, it sounds so great, and uh, it's my great pleasure to talk about the uh, works of art, uh, Mr. Hong Tae Kim, and uh, at the same time uh, to have an interview with uh, Mr. Pan Park, who is priest and uh, the theological uh, aesthetician. And uh, I want to briefly introduce uh, the works of art in the form of my thoughts and the critics. And uh, more than anything else, I have a great interest uh, in the combination of uh, primitiveness and the trash mind uh, in Hong Tae Kim's work of art. And uh, as you know, as the, the British laureate poet uh, William Woodsworth once said, a uh, child is the father of the adult. And uh, child, if the uh, child is combined with the term of uh, primitiveness and is the uh, returning place uh, ultimately after our death. And uh, uh, from uh, works of art, Hong Tae Kim, and, uh, we can realize and experience the good combination and the harmony between the yin and the yang principle, and which is not a confrontation uh, each other, but uh, co-sharing the coexistence of uh, creation and uh, bringing some uh, lives and uh, at the same time, and uh, we are living in so confused in a certain uh, period, and we need always the healing momentum and the curing uh, uh, momentum. So uh, from the recovering to uh, primitiveness and the child's mind, uh, I hope it, we have a good uh, opportunity uh, to have a, a healing process or the healing uh, motivation. And, and at the moment, uh, we are always living in the, the, the deeply uh, seated in unconsciousness. And uh, from this uh, combination of uh, primitiveness and the child's mind, we can recover uh, this uh, uh, unconsciousness uh, world. And uh, 
from this, uh, we hope that uh, the good uh, meditation or the contemplation uh, momentum on behalf of uh, uh, works of art, Hong Tae Kim's. I, I saw that Mr. Hong Tae Kim's uh, article was also included in your article on geoaesthetics in the Open Journal of Philosophy. What specifically is it about his work that, that matches with the geoaesthetic approach? Mm -hmm. And uh, from the ancient degrees, uh, it's so well known, the combination of terms of art uh, is uh, imitation of art, uh, imitation of uh, nature. And uh, nature uh, plays a key role to uh, draw or compose the art itself. And uh, today, the art is not the, the original, uh, it does not uh, mean the original uh, nature, but the nature is uh, uh, totally collapsed uh, or totally destructed, like uh, uh, your phenomena as a, a form of uh, bloods, floods or the earthquakes or volcanoes in recent times. And uh, uh, in connection to uh, healing, we have to recover the original meaning of nature. It just means the balance or equilibrium between the human being and the nature. And uh, uh, from the works of art, uh, Hong Tae Kim's, uh, it gives us a good opportunity to recover this balance, uh, the lost balance, and then we can uh, revive the, the, the original meaning of balance. And then at the end, we can have a good chance uh, to have a, a healing or the curing, etc. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for your words. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Hong Tae Kim, how would you describe what the purpose is behind your works? I hope that my works propose strikes a chord with all the art lovers and appreciators. But in the end, I hope that through my work, people will have opportunities for meditation and healing. Uh, what are you working on currently and what are some of your future plans? Uh, Currently, I have been researching primitiveness and child's mind by drawing on rice paper and planning on a solar exhibition in a foreign country. That's great. Um, you know, we're surrounded by some of your artworks here. Um, if you would be willing, would you explain some of them to us? Oh, sure. Let's go. Or, or let's have a time just to look around my works. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a painting that was featured in the Open Journal of Philosophy. Um, could you help explain to us what we should be looking at here? Uh, sure. In this painting, the fundamental thing that I touched is the harmony of yin and yang. Yin and yang is meaning as a Korean traditional spirit and Asian. And similar, and buried uh, on the bottom of our sentiment uh, and the Korean traditional spirit. You look here. Okay. This point is meaning the mandala. Mandala. Uh, you look here and uh, uh, apple You will uh, have. Uh, opportunity for meditation and healing. And the two colors here, what do they signify? Well, the, this area is in. Mm. This, uh, that, uh, the other area is yang, and the Korean and Asian traditional spirit. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to your second okay. painting. Now here, what exactly are we looking at here? Uh, this painting was drawn on Korean traditional rice paper. As uh, this, uh, you look, uh, this painting is uh, very comfortable. You feel comfortable, and you uh, you look here this mandala. At the file, you will find uh, have. A, opportunity for meditation and healing. And the outside uh, is a cows and in. And the, 
a big uh, low side is uh, young, and uh, the cows uh, uh, and, and uh, disappear. You feel uh, and meditation. Your mind is relaxing. Well, now on to your final piece okay. here. Now, this is a painting that I've seen quite often. I think it's one of your older works. What exactly are we looking at here? Okay, I, I like this painting. This painting uh, I drew the, the 15 years ago. And uh, you look at uh, this mandala. At the five, you will have uh, uh, opportunity for meditation and the healing. And this picture is uh, interesting scenery. It uh, looks like a uh, uh, microcosmos. Mm -hmm. yes. And then these colors, what are these uh, colors? The colors here? is the Korean tradition, Oban Kala. Oban Kala is uh, blue and black and red, yellow and green. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Hong Tae Kim, for your time. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. And for everybody else oh, for joining no. us. Uh, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> See you again. <laughs> See you again. <laughs>